Yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting back out and, uh, and taking part in some sessions. You know, I've done bits and pieces the last couple of weeks, but um, it's always frustrating having to kind of drop out and jump back in again. So, uh, no, I'm really, yeah, really excited, looking forward to it. It's a cracking day through here as well, so um, it should be good fun. Has it been kind of frustrating or what's it been like to watch the current games from the, from the sidelines or from, from, and not be on the pitch? What's it like yeah. as a player? Oh, it's tough. Like, it's always horrible not to... Just there's never a good time for an injury sort of thing, but at this time of year it always hurts a little bit more when uh, you know you can't put yourself up for for selection. So um, no, nah, I think the boys we've been really unlucky. It's uh, we we played really well against, especially against Wales last week, and you know it was it was it was it was great to watch. It, it made me excited about getting back training and uh, and being part of it all. So um, no, nah, I'm I'm really excited. And what's been the message from Vern, the coaching staff? What's what's the focus this week? Um, oh, well, just it's a massive week, you know, we've kind of been in the last couple of games and just not got over that line, so uh, we've just talked a lot about putting in an 80-minute performance and, and uh, you know, showing a lot of discipline in our performance and just trying to, like, enjoy ourselves, get a, get a tempo into the game and, uh, and, yeah, try and get a good result. It's a tough question to ask, Pete, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Is, is, do you feel the pressure or do you feel the as a squad on getting that result and getting the momentum, hopefully rolling with a, with a good win? Uh, yeah, it's something like we tr you try not to think, like worry too much about. But obviously, yeah, this fixture there is a lot of pressure on it, and um, I think we just know that we're capable of so much more. So we kind of we put a lot of pressure on ourselves as well, just to yeah to get a result. You know, we thought we could we could go. We're going into every game trying to win every single game. You know, so uh, we've we've been really un unfortunate, we've disappointed the last couple of weeks. But um, I think we're building in the right direction again. So hopefully, you know, this weekend we can get that positive result, and then really try and blitz the, the rest of the Six Nations. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed. It's almost like Scotland are doing 95% of everything right. It's just there's a few yeah. things that just haven't quite clicked. What, what, what is it you think not quite worked in the past couple of games? Oh, it's hard to say when you've not been on the field. It's tough to, to kind of judge or anything. Um, I think, yeah, there's just been the odd little mistake, which has, you know, been, been crucial. And I think at this level, like games are decided on like little instances, you know, the, the odd instance and I think England showed that they didn't they didn't create much that day, but the two chances they had they took and they scored and that's what it's about. It's the cutting edge of sport sort of thing. And I think we just need to yeah, try and capitalise on any chances that we make and it's something the coaches are really hammering home. We work a lot on it at training and that and being more clinical and, and looking after the ball. So um yeah, it just needs to translate now into performances.